On the morning of July 20th at approximately 2.33 a.m., surveillance footage shows several people approaching a Subaru XV. The Subaru was jointly used by journalist Pavel Sheremet and his girlfriend. These operatives were probably attaching a sticky bomb to the underside of the car. At 7.40 a.m., Sheremet began his morning commute to Radio Vesti, where he hosted a daily morning radio show. As Sharamet was making a left-hand turn from Ivan Franco Street, an explosion struck his vehicle, mortally wounding him. Analysis of the surveillance video and other data indicates a professional assassination, most likely by a well-trained state-backed attack team. Attackers knew that Sharamet's morning commute would have a 4 out of 5 chance of going through this busy intersection. The attackers needed to make sure of two things when detonating the bomb, that it was indeed Sheremet and not his partner in the car, and that Sheremet was killed. This intersection offered the assassination team plenty of cover for surveillance. Watchers likely kept track of Sheremet's movements from one of the buildings at the intersection or from the street. Further analysis of the video shows a relatively small explosion, just powerful enough to kill the victim, but not cause much in the way of collateral damage. Amateur attackers usually construct explosive devices erring on the side of being too big to make sure they hit their target. A man, using a cane to walk, stops just before the detonation occurs, his back to Sharamet's car. Unlike other witnesses, he doesn't flinch when the car explodes. He turns slowly towards the car after the explosion. He then sprints quickly toward the car and is one of the first people to view Sharamet.